Righty, -o. I'm jumping on the bandwagon. Come on, give me some reviews. It's going to happen at some point, no doubt, if something comes of this. Um, I get quite a lot of ask, uh, questions um, about the Mitsubishi Electric range, uh, especially the EcoDan Air Source um, systems. We haven't installed this. This is purely just a service um, and a checkup today, um, and just running through some issues that the tenants got. Um, so the most common question that I get asked is hot water. How do I set my hot water temperature because it's too cold or it's too hot? So what we're going to do is we're going to run through that today. There's a lot on this controller that I will cover in other videos if requested, um, but today purely I'm just going to show you the, the absolute basics. Um, so on your main screen you should have this. Um, this model comes with the FTC4 um, FTC5. Um, some of the previous FTCs are compatible, but this one's on an FTC4 panel. So what everything on here means is uh, hot water currently on play. Um, that basically means that I've got it forced into doing the hot water um, just for testing purposes. I just want to make sure that that's working okay. This little symbol here, how symbol? Um, that means your heating. At the moment that's currently paused. Um, here you've got a room thermostat temperature. So if you've got a room thermostat um, in your lounge or you've got a wireless remote stat for this model, um, that is the temperature that the thermostat downstairs or wherever it may be is picking up. This big one here is your asking temperature. So at the moment the tenant's currently saying that she doesn't want heating um, and it's on 10 degrees purely because it's 18 degrees in the property and a little bit warmer outside as well. So there's no need for that. This symbol here with the bubbles in is your hot water temperature inside the cylinder at the moment okay so that's currently saying that that's 38 degrees and the little symbol here means that the air source outside the fan is spinning that is purely for us engineers and homeowners if you wanted to know that your fan outside was spinning if you had issues anywhere you can easily see it from this controller that means that the air source outside is running and the fan is spinning. So to set the hot water temperature, we're going to press and hold the engineer setting there. And it's going to bring up a completely new screen. Direct hot water, we're going to ignore the rest on the screen at the moment. We'll cover all of these in a different video if needs be. Hot water temperature, press that one there. And it's going to bring you to direct hot water and Legionella again. Legionella, don't worry about that side at the moment, we'll cover that in a different video. So to set your hot water temperature, press the notepad button underneath and it's going to bring you to the screen. Max temp, max temp drop, max operation time and mode restriction. Okay. Direct hot water, maximum temperature is the one that we want. Press the tick button on that one and it's currently set to 47 degrees. Now the tenant's saying that that's not hot enough, so what we can do is we can adjust it using the various buttons here. So on this one I'm going to set this one to 52 degrees um, by the time that that's picked up on the sensor you should be getting around about 53, 54. What you don't want to do is is go to 60 degrees because that's going to cost you a fair amount of money. Um, anything over 55 degrees generally the system is going to ask for the immersion heater to help it along um, and that's where it becomes inefficient to run. So on this one I'm going to set this one to 52 um, and see how we get on with that. If it's still not enough we can up that a little bit later on but I'm, I'm sure it will be. So we're just going to tick and confirm that and that's confirmed and if we go back, back, back again and back again, main screen and that's how you set your hot water temperature. Hope that helps.